praise the Lord today. Saints, hallelujah to the Most High God. Father, I thank you for this word. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful word that you've given this morning, Lord, to share with the body. I pray, Father, that you will just have it received into every heart that sees it, Lord, and hears it. Let your people hear your voice today, O oh God. Hallelujah. In a mighty way. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, it's vitally important that we understand that God is with us. Hallelujah. No matter what's going on in our lives, the Lord says He's with His people. When we're surrendered, when we're walking with the Lord, He's with us. He's with us. He's never left us, never abandoned us, never will. Hallelujah. He is Almighty Yahweh. He is the King of glory. Psalm 28, 1. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Hallelujah. This is a psalm of David. This is a, an encouraging word today for those, any of us, who are in one way or another feeling like we just have to grab a hold of God. I mean, we just have to have Him no matter what. Hallelujah. That's the key. Do you, do you want God? Do you have a desire for God? See? And if you say, yes, I have a desire for God, then reach out and grab a hold of Him today because He is right there for the taking. God loves His people. God wants us to commune with Him. God wants us to to throw everything of our whole life upon Him in full surrender. Hallelujah. Because He knows when we do that, then He can take us up and use us like He wants to use us. And this morning in my prayer time, I opened up the scripture to Psalm 28, a psalm of David. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock, my rock. See, David knew God as his rock, and we do too. And I know many of you do. And if you don't know God as your rock, you can know him as your rock. He doesn't move, hallelujah. He is steadfast. And if we keep our attention and focus upon him, we will not be moved. Hallelujah. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me. Be not silent to me. See, sometimes God, it seems like he's silent to us. But David cried, Be not silent unto me, and so do we. We cry. Lest, if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. David knew he needed God to be right there all the time present. Hallelujah. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their heart. Oh, don't, don't, don't draw me away with them, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give them according to their deeds, and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their own hands. Render to them their desert. In other words, anyone who's coming against the true believer... David is praying here. Those that are coming against me, he says, give them according to their deeds. The works that they're doing against your people, you give back to them, Lord. And according to the wickedness of their endeavors, always trying to cast doubt upon the true sheep. Always trying to bring division between other sheep. Always trying to bring suspicion and, and bring and tail bearing and gossiping give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors give them after the work of their hands render to them their desert because they regard not the works of the Lord nor the operation of his hands he shall destroy them and not build them up oh man how how true is our God how righteous are his judgments oh hallelujah Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. See how 
What a great promise that is. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord because he hath heard the voice of my supplication. See, we can know when we cry out to God from our heart with our lips. Hallelujah. He does hear the voice of our supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth. And with my song will I praise him. Oh, hallelujah. And with my song will I praise him. I will have songs in my heart today and praise and worship the king. Hallelujah. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Hallelujah. See, when you get born anew from heaven, when you get born again and filled with the Holy Ghost, you get anointed by the Lord. And it's the Lord Jesus Christ who is the anointing, and he lives inside of us. Oh, hallelujah. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. Oh, hallelujah. What a beautiful prayer that King David wrote down for us. That he prayed himself. Oh, hallelujah. And God answered that prayer for David. And God is answering that prayer for his people today. Be encouraged in the Lord. Now, I want you to look at Psalm number 29. That was Psalm 28. A Psalm of David. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory and strength do unto his name that's all glory hallelujah worship the lord in the beauty of holiness oh hallelujah worship the lord in the beauty of holiness the voice of the lord is upon the waters see the waters represent the troubles the waters represent the times of testing that we go through that are ordered of God. Hallelujah. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. Oh, hallelujah. See, the Lord is with us in the trials. The Lord is with us in the testings. Hallelujah. He orders them according to His will and His purpose, which is to transform us into the image of His Son. Hallelujah. The voice of the Lord Hallelujah. Is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divideth the flames of fire. Oh, hallelujah, you're going through some trials today. The flames of fire, the voice of the Lord divideth the flames of fire where you make it through. Hallelujah. Unsinged, unburned. Hallelujah. Praise God. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The voice, the Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The voice of the Lord maketh the hinds to calve and discovereth the forests. And in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory. In his temple does everyone speak of his glory. Are we speaking today of the glory of God? Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord sitteth upon the flood. Listen to this. The Lord sitteth upon the flood. Yea, the Lord sitteth king forever. No matter what troubles we're going through, the waters, the flood coming in, the Lord sits upon it. And we, today as believers, are seated in Christ in heavenly places. Hallelujah. So that means we are on top of the flood. The flood's not overwhelming us. We're on top of it as his children. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Verse 10 again. The Lord sitteth upon the flood. Yea, the Lord sitteth king forever. The Lord will give strength. Hallelujah. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Oh, hallelujah. It's incumbent upon us today, saints, to believe the word of God. Hallelujah. 
The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Hallelujah. Psalms alive. The Psalms are very much alive today. Hallelujah. The Psalms that David wrote. Hallelujah. And Asaph and Ethan. The Psalms that were written by Moses. Hallelujah. And Solomon. Hallelujah. And all the other writers. Ezra. Hallelujah. All of the Psalms, they're alive today. Hallelujah. And therefore, our using right there for our using and for our strengthening and for our rebuke. Hallelujah. Oh, that we would get more into the Word as, as a people. The children of our Father. Hallelujah. He preserved it for us. It is a great weapon against the enemy and all of his darts and all of his fiery serpent tongues out there. Hallelujah. You know, we need to get into the Word more, and we need to proclaim the Word, and we need to breathe the Word, and we need to believe the Word, hallelujah, and we need to let the Word have its perfect work in us, dividing us under between the joint, the marrow, and the soul, and the spirit. And let us go forward victorious with boldness, hallelujah, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.